Hey everyone, what's going on? I'm the Tim Eister and welcome back to Dunswell. We begin this episode right where we left off in the last one, where we are sitting at attractiveness is off the charts and for passenger count, we are at 366. So just over halfway there to 500. And I'm sure we are to reach level two very shortly. As you can see, the city is in complete disarray. Half the city is abandoned. We lost almost like almost 10,000 people at this point. We were over 75,000 people at one point. But anyways, we're just gonna have to let things play out here a bit longer and I'm sure the city's gonna bounce back. So I'm not too concerned about that. But yeah, uh, I can't wait to see what happens at level two in our airport. So far, it's been really great. Not too much action is happening around here, but oh, look at that. We just unloaded another plane, 416. So I'm thinking one more flight to leave or to come into the city and we should have our passenger count up to 500. Probably like two more planes, I'm guessing. We now have five active flights. I wonder what this means. The total amount of flights currently connecting to or from this airport area. Okay, so that's just like the number of flights heading to other airports, I suppose. Okay, that's kind of what I suspected, but yeah. All right, so we got all our policies enacted. Oh, plane's leaving. Did that contribute to the number? 460? No, it looks like it hasn't. But let's see if there's any planes that are going to land here in a second. Oh my god, I just noticed we have no demand at all right now as our population continues to drop. Wow, guys, this is unbelievable. I wonder why the, the developers did this. So it looks like all the dead people are, are, for the most part, cleared up. You know, there's still a few stragglers here and there, a few neighborhoods that haven't been swept through yet. But for the most part, well, maybe, yeah... There is still quite a few. But yeah, it looks like a lot of the city's abandoned now just from being vacant. Anyways, we'll deal with that when the time comes. And for whatever reason, I don't know why this airport produce, produces so much garbage. It's crazy. Like every five minutes, there's garbage piling up. But arrivals and departures. Man, Paradox has done a really great job or I should say Colossal, has done a really great job on these assets. They look really well. The planes look really nice, too. You know, there's a bunch of different planes that spawn. Look at all the, the variations that they've made. Oh, my God, look at that. Boom. Level 2. Okay, let, so let's take a minute or so to go over what we've unlocked, because there is quite a bit. So first, we've unlocked a large hangar. I'm sure this does exactly the same thing as a small hangar, but to a larger degree. Luxury airport hotel. And we have a classic large terminal, a classic concourse hub, a large modern terminal. So this is likely what I'm to place down in the airport, as well as a modern concourse hub at some point. Probably once the airport starts to reach, you know, a bigger stage, I'm gonna play around with these assets. But for now, I'm, I'm going to keep it simple. Uh, elevated Airport Metro Station. This is going to be a very important building as we bring public transportation into the airport. So I, I'm really excited for this. Aviation Fuel Station. Very important. We have an assortment of medium parked planes now. We have an airport or an airline lounge. Okay, that's really cool. And then an ultra-modern concourse hub and an ultra-modern large terminal, which I probably won't place down in this city, along with a medium aircraft stand. And I think that's it. There's not really any perks that we get at level 2 other than unlocking a bunch of buildings. So, awesome. This is really cool. Okay. So, having unlocked some additional buildings, I'm going to want to play around with those, especially the modern large terminal. Oh, wow, it is actually pretty big. Uh, so, yeah, let's see how I can integrate this into the airport. It would actually be cool to have this as the end of the terminal and then have the terminal loop around like this, like, so exactly like LAX in some ways. So, But I did study a little bit of, like, Portland Airport, Portland, Oregon, um, Vancouver, 
SeaTac in Seattle. You know, I've, I've studied a lot of the Pacific Northwest airports, and you know, they're they all of the airports that I looked at are in completely different configurations. So, oh yeah, I should pause the game. So yeah, I'm not I'm not gonna go for like one particular style in this build. I'm just kind of gonna do my own thing here and hopefully make something that looks nice. All right, so yeah, I just destroyed part of the terminal. Let's go here, and I'm going to place down this. Does it have a subway station built in? With a built-in metro station. Oh, okay. All right, so do we even need the elevated metro station? I'm probably still going to place one. But yeah, I don't even know if it's necessary at this point. I want to get this perfectly straight. How? What would be the best way of doing this? I think I'm just going to eyeball it. And then use move it. There. Well, let's take a, a moment to appreciate this asset. That looks absolutely wonderful. Look at that, guys. You have arrivals down below, departures on the second floor. Wow, man. They've done a really good job with this. I am super impressed. All right, so the next step is to connect this all up. And then I'll go on to the, to the other side of the airport at a later stage. So of course now we gotta connect these two terminals. I'd be curious to see if it's even possible to create multiple terminals and then use, uh, hold on, where is it? The, oh yeah, that's right, we have the bus station that I haven't placed down. We'll have to do that. But yeah, what I was going to say is I wonder if it's possible to have an elevated metro station linking multiple terminals. So if I was to have like a satellite terminal way over here, would it be possible to link it up with an elevated metro station? I wonder if that would work. I'm super curious, guys. To, it would be cool to create something like uh, Orlando Airport. You know, how you have like four separate terminals and then a large terminal in the middle. That would be super cool if that was possible. Okay, so back to the game. Let's see here. Uh, of course, I'm gonna wanna place down a control tower again. That's kind of a, a nice feature to have in a large airport. Uh, let's see. So now I have unlocked a medium aircraft stand. So of course, oh, they are a bit larger. Yup, they won't fit over here, but thankfully I have plenty of room over here in this large concourse. I shall actually, I'm gonna spread these out a bit more. Just to be sure we don't have any wing clippings. There, so we'll have two plane stands on either side. And I'm gonna use quite a bit of, wait, will this actually look good? Oh yeah, that looks fine. I'm gonna use a lot of surface painter in this airport, I'm thinking, because I want some areas to be paved and others not to be, so I'm gonna be doing that. There, so now the next step will be to link these aircraft stands to our taxiway system, and this might be easier said than done, but let's, I'm gonna try my best here to figure something out. So let's have Hmm. I don't think I can do this. I think I think the aircraft stands have to be linked up directly to a taxiway. So if I do this and then bring this taxiway over here. Nope, nope, that's not gonna be enough room. Hang on. These taxiways look really great, by the way. I love the textures on them. I like how the lines connect. It makes it super convenient. You know, when I was making custom airports all the time, I had to manually do this, so it was a bit more challenging. Okay, just gonna 
move all that into place. How does that look? <laughs> that looks really cool. Let's just make sure the direction is good. So planes coming in will go down this way, then come back out. I may actually spread these out just a tad more though. Just because I know the wingspan is going to be a bit larger on these planes. There, I think that should be alright. They don't look an awful lot bigger than the other planes. I think we should be okay. And you know what? I think I may... What do we unlock as far as terminals go? I think I have everything I need for terminals. Everything is cargo related afterwards. We unlock some more public transportation stuff. But as far as actual concourses and terminals, I think I'm good to go. So what I'll do over here is I'm gonna place a second terminal. Actually, I want everything to be perfectly lined up here. So I'm gonna make a 90 degrees coming up over here and then going out this way. link this up and then directly across from our primary terminal oh, I guess I need to get rid of this there is this 90 yeah there 90 degrees okay and then we'll go back into our terminal link this all up and Uh, hang on, I don't think... Oh, shoot. Okay, I know where I messed up. I messed this up. I want it to be symmetrical, guys. It's got to be symmetrical. So if I do this, it'll become symmetrical. There we are. All right, and then I can link this up. Like that. There. That's pretty good. Can delete this. Is this a one way? Yep. And then I can link this up. All right. This is probably gonna change, guys. I know it kind of looks ugly right now. It looks hastily made, but I'm gonna fix this all up as the airport expands. So right now it's kind of cool because we, we have like our, let's say our domestic hub over here, you know, all the smaller planes. And then at the tip of the terminal is where our medium plane stands are. So maybe like some international flights. And then over here we'll have like our, I don't know, our intercontinental flights, you know, across the, uh, the ocean type flights going off to Europe or something. Okay, well, I'm actually really liking the look of this airport right now. This is really fun, guys. I'm having a blast. Uh, okay, so I can hit play because everything's connected. And then next, I want to place down... No, I'm wondering if it wouldn't make more sense to have the air traffic control tower... Oh, shoot, I can't have it on the very tip of the terminal. Oh, well, I'll keep it where it is. It's all right there. Oh yeah, and then we gotta provide some water. Is this good enough? No, I guess not. Okay. Let's see what else we got here. So we had the hotel. The luxury airport hotel. Ooh, it is quite big. Uh, where can we fit this? I'm gonna turn off anarchy so we're not completely cheating. Hmm. I wonder if I can. I'm gonna do this. I'm gonna create a a small turn off. Actually, no. I'm gonna do this. And then we'll have the luxury hotel. Oh crap, it doesn't fit. All right.
There we go. We'll have the luxury hotel right in the middle here, I think. Oh, yeah. Oh, it's yellow. It's still yellow. Is it always going to be yellow? It's got to match the aesthetic. Well, I guess it's, it, I guess it's yellow, guys. <laughs> it doesn't look that bad. Here, I'm going to try this one more time. I'm confident that Paradox has put some more colors into these buildings. Hey, look at that. Well, it's green. What other colors? I want it... It should be blue. I think blue would probably match the aesthetic of the airport the best. Oh, yellow once again. Oh my god. Okay. I'd rather the green, though. If I had to choose between the yellow and the green. Alright, screw it. The hotel's gonna be green. <laughs> I think I might move this hotel. It might be might be better to put it out on the uh, on the outskirts of the airport later on. Oh yeah, that's true. We have an airport lounge too. Where does this connect? Oh, I see. Okay, it connects on the outside of our terminals. All right. Well, in that case, I'll place. What does this do anyway? I, I gotta check what these do first before just sporadically placing everything down. So the luxury hotel. Uh, it makes the airport more attractive with the attractiveness level of 80. Okay, and the airport lounge has an attractiveness of 60. So I'm going to place the lounge here. Oh, that looks really nice, actually. Look at that. All right, well, let's check on how things are doing here real quick. So attractiveness is 718 out of a thousand so we're gonna have to work on that and then passenger account we need 5,000 passengers in order to get to level three so that's quite a bit we're definitely not gonna get there this episode we didn't unlock any new policies we now have seven flights and uh, we're still losing quite a bit of money and we're losing a lot of people it, it appears that a lot of people are leaving dunswell at this point look at that like 88 percent outgoing flights is dunswell really that bad guys am i such a terrible mayor that everybody's leaving oh, it's still so many dead people wow this is incredible oh my god even in brightwood like look at that half the city's abandoned okay well not much we can do, really. It's just to, to wait it out. Oh, that's a small plane. Fully booked. All right, well, uh, let's see here. Why aren't there any large planes landing? The taxiways look okay. See, planes can loop around here and then make their way to the runway. Okay, nope, everything's good. They can take this taxiway to come in. And we'll just have to loop around. Things are looking okay. Alright, well, let's play around with some public transportation here. But let me first check out the modern concourse hub, which also contains built in underground metro station. Okay. And I believe this can be linked up. A concourse. Let me just give this a try. So if I lay this down like that, yeah, so I can connect this up wherever I want. Nice. I'm not really sure I like the idea of having underground metro stations though. I mean, yeah, it's a nice feature, but at the same time, it doesn't really make much sense to have a station here and then to have an outside station connecting directly to the terminal as well. But whatever, it's not a big deal. Okay, so while we're waiting for, you know, things to, to, to progress, I'm going to go ahead and place down an elevated metro station, which we can then connect to the rest of the city. Okay, so now what I would like to get into is some public transportation. So we have a ton of public transportation options within the airport DLC, one of which I want to get into right now is, well... 
I kind of want to get into both. So the elevated airport metro station I would like to have down and then the bus station as well would be quite useful. Now the challenge is to figure out where everything is going to fit. So I'm going to extend this concourse going out this way. And I think I'm going to start off with the elevated metro station. Which, oh, I have anarchy on. Let's not use anarchy. Uh, let's see. Hmm. How am I going to make this fit here? Because I don't want... I don't want the concourse to be, like, super long and kind of weird looking. I think... Here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to pause the game because I'm going to break these connections. All right. And then I'll have this piece of road continue along as elevated. So now I can only hope that I have enough room for my metro station, which looks like I do. I'm gonna place it as far as I can. It looks like this might be the limit right here. Oh crap, you know what? It kind of, hmm, that doesn't really make much sense. What I just did there, because it blocks the entrance. Uh, it's not a big deal though. Hold on, I'll just have to modify what I just did here. So, this elevated portion of this one way will continue straight over the entrance. In a way, it's kind of a shame though. Well, not really. It's kind of hiding the terminal, but not all that much. Oh crap, did I use a road here? I don't know why I keep mixing up roads and... Here, let's fix this. There. Actually here, I'll have the elevated section coming back down to zero meters. And then connecting up right over here. Might not look as good, but this is subject to change. Because for now, I wanna focus on our public transportation network. So let's go into the metro menu. And then the metro will depart the station. And then make its way into the city. and I'm going to use no collisions. Yeah, I'll just have to move the support just a little bit. Not a big deal. All right, and then I will connect these two segments. Oops. That should be elevated. There. I don't know why the terrain is so rough over here, guys. Look at that. It's 
super jagged. Well, that's okay. We'll deal with that once we get to this part of town, which won't be for a little while. And there we have it. There's our metro station heading right into the airport. That is awesome. Oh yeah, how am I going to bring these power lines over? The temporary power lines, of course, with the power of anarchy again. Oops. There you go. Okay, so that would do it for the metro station. Now I'm just going to have to extend the line. Should I do that now? I might as well. So I will take this and I will drag a stop way over in this part of town. Just like so. So yeah, this station will eventually make its way to the airport and then in between there'll be another maybe three stops. Maybe two stops. Yeah, all right. And then as far as a bus network, I'll have to try and see how I can figure this out. Uh, where is the bus? There it is. Hmm, I'll have to figure out how to get this to fit. <laughs> I may have to have the bus terminals off to the side somewhere. I'm not even sure. Hmm. This might be a little challenging to get the bus network, but yeah, I, I really want a bus terminal for sure in the airport. Okay, I've made a decision. The metro station will stay here, but I have an idea for the bus station. All right, so let me go into my terminal here. Oh, look at that. We already have some trains arriving. Awesome. So I'm going to do this. And I'm not going to lie, I kind of rehearsed this off camera, <laughs> but I am going to put a ultra modern terminal over here. All right. So when you combine two different types of terminals, it kind of has this transition piece, which doesn't look awful that bad. Like it, it looks all right. Okay. So then what I'm going to do is take my bus station and I am going to place it right here. Boom. So if I zoom out a little bit, okay, you can see the whole terminal here. It doesn't look that bad, you know? It's like the end of a concourse over here. We can even have some plane stalls over at this terminal. And again, for now, this is probably gonna be temporary, but I am just going to bring, of course, power lines right in the way. <laughs> I'm going to bring a simple road that will connect the bus station to the airport. Now, I won't be doing any bus lines this episode. All right, so at this point, let's check our area info. It's overflowing with garbage once again. So attractiveness, we have about 300 points to go. Passenger count, we're like three quarters of the way there. So I'm not gonna worry about that too much. So in the meantime, while we're waiting for our passenger count to go up, which it is going up quite quickly, actually. Passenger seats. Oh yeah, we're getting 100% usage of our passenger seats and 50% incoming, 50% outgoing. So it's better than the 80% outgoing that we had earlier. Now for the next couple of minutes, I will be working on the attractiveness of our airport because that's one of the metrics that we have to get up there. And I'm gonna place down a couple of hangers here, uh, but I don't wanna place them down willy nilly, just, you know, along this taxiway. Normally in airports, you'll have these, these sort of little terminals off to the side, whether it be for cargo or whether, whether it be for, you know, business jets or something like that. You know, you always have these little off terminals. And I'm gonna be working on that for, uh, for the next minute or so. So what I'll do here, is I will provide a taxiway. I'll do like a little taxiway loop like this. Oh, why can't... Interesting, why is this not working? Uh, 
Uh, you know what? Actually, no. I'm gonna, I'm gonna redo this. I'm going to start it from here. And then I'll make it all the way over to here. So it'll be just a simple loop. And then here I can go ahead and place down an assortment of large hangers. Ooh, that's awfully close to the road, but that's all right. I can fence it in. So this is purely decorative, guys. So I'm going to place an assortment of hangers. And actually, let's have a fuel stand here as well. Oh my god, I didn't realize it was that big. Okay, well, I don't really want that right up against the road either. Uh, here's what I'll do. I will take a taxiway and create create a small loop if I can and these taxiways are hard to deal with okay and then I can safely place down my fuel depot Beautiful. So a couple of hangers. And let's check our attractiveness. Uh, we have about 112 to go. What else can we place for attractiveness? I know air lounges kind of do that. Oh, you know, park planes actually give off a little bit of attractiveness. I, I didn't notice that a minute ago. Okay, well, let's, let's certainly place a couple of these. Oh, and we can place them anywhere we like. Oh, well, that's perfect then, because I can just use Surface Painter. And I don't have to place down a bunch of taxiways everywhere. So I have a couple of planes over here. I guess we could have maybe another large plane. Over here by the fuel tanks. You know, this plane could be refueling or something. Well, they wouldn't refuel here. They would refuel them at the plane stand, but, you know, it could be here for maintenance or something. And then look at this, guys. I can simply go into the surface painter and then start painting down some pavement all over that. All over our taxiways. Oh, crap. Well, it does have a little bit of a side effect, it looks like. You know, we're getting some, some cracks. But, you know, it doesn't look half that. It doesn't look too bad. Yeah, I can just fill this in. All of this as well. Oh yeah, we're getting some traffic. Look at that, there's some planes lining up. That's a good sign though. Now I'm gonna leave this unoccupied like that. Actually, no, there should be some pavement here because how are those planes going to get out? There. And of course, over here, this should all be pavement. There we are. Oh yeah, that's looking a hell of a lot better. Now I'll just have to clean this part up at some point. I think I may just use some shrubbery or something to do that. But man, oh yeah, that looks awesome. Holy crap, guys. I'm having so much fun with this DLC. Oh my god. I Like, the minute they announced that this was going to come out, I was so ecstatic. Like, I knew this was going to be a good time. All right, so we made it as far as passenger count. Wow, that went up really fast. I was surprised how many passengers we're dealing with now. It'd be cool to know how many monthly passengers we have, though. Kind of like the vanilla. Oh, yeah. Right. Hey, right, right. I can't speak today. <laughs> oh, my God. Uh, yeah. So we have weekly passengers up here. 470. That's honestly quite a bit. Okay. We can see our weekly passengers here, too, for the metro station. Visitors for the hotels. That's good. 
Awesome. Okay, so we're just missing a couple of points for the attractiveness. Let's see what we can place down here. Literally like one or two planes and we should be all right. Small parked plane. Still fairly large. Uh, where, what can we do with this? Hmm. Honestly though, I think I'm just gonna do this. I'm just gonna place down a couple of park planes over here by our bus terminal. Just to edge our attractiveness level. Awesome, look at that guys. We're officially a level three airport. Oh my God, this is awesome. So we're already level three. This really didn't take too long. All right, guys, so I'm out of time now. This is going to be the end of this episode. But next episode, I'm going to get into what is involved in creating a level three airport. So we finally got all of the cargo stuff. Uh, we got an airport train station, cargo airport terminal, uh, more parked planes, an aviation museum, airline headquarters. Oh, yeah, that's right. That's part of this DLC, too. Anyways, there's a ton of new stuff. I think we've unlocked everything, right? Oh, yeah, look at that. Our menu is nice and all unlocked. Cool, guys. All right, well, that is going to be it for this episode. And as usual, I hope you really enjoyed it. And if you did, give it a like, give it a thumbs up. It's the same thing, but it's okay. Leave a comment and be sure to subscribe for much more content coming soon. Much more airport content coming soon because honestly, there's probably going to be two more episodes of airport content because it's such a big project. So anyways, guys, that is it for me for today. Again, thanks for watching. And until the next episode, take care, everyone.